Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So today we are going to make some yogurt. I have uh, making, I have been making yogurt uh, for many years, four years, five years, and uh, continuously every day. So this one is also, I use this to answer some questions. So first I put in milk. You can use whole milk or non-fat milk or less uh, fatty milk. It's a personal choice. And uh, I am thinking I like to use whole milk. It's less sweet and uh, richer. It has a very good uh, mouse feel um, um, uh, just makes me feel quite uh, rich and comfortable and uh, some use organic milk some use not organic milk i have uh, up to now i have not yet seen the difference between organic or non-organic it should uh, it should be more or less the same and the difference is the density or the fatness of the milk. I use whole milk, not only so, I also put uh, uh, whipping cream. Yes. Now I get my heavy cream. So I put some heavy whipping cream. So the milk is richer and I will bring it to a full boil. After boiling, I will cool it down in a bowl of uh, cold water so that uh, the cooling time is shorter. The milk from very hot, boiling hot, or pasteurized until it reached to a doable um, uh, yogurt condition, lukewarm. It has the shortest time, so it has less chance for bacteria to develop. It's relatively clean. This is my thought. And uh, recently, there was one friend making a comment on, uh, on my yogurt video and mentioning, I made the video today, but uh, it comes out slimy. So this video is talking about how to avoid being slimy. To start with, you need to start a good yogurt starter. It could be yogurt powder. I have some yogurt powder and I usually use uh, the yogurt powder I bought. So I will put, uh, uh, we will start a yogurt powder or you can use store-bought yogurt. But uh, store-bought yogurt is different. Some yogurt, you can see the label, has just uh, too many things. They put some pectin they, to, to, to make it firm, to make it stand well. So that we do not need. Only milk, only the starter will be good. And uh, I make yogurt. I make yogurt starting from my first generation yogurt. So this with rubber band is the first generation. I make milk and the yogurt starter, which is not exactly the same brand, but more or less the same. I make into the first generation, I put a rubber band. This will be the yogurt to make further yogurt. I do not eat this first generation yogurt. It's relatively clean and uh, it's relatively clean and uh, does not go generation after generation. If your yogurt 
keep on making generation after generation. The original generation, a lot of、uh, a lot of its character and strengths will be deteriorated or will be lost through the mutation. <laughs> it's like a science movie. It's just、uh, it becomes less strong. So th this is from that one I made. From the first generation yogurt, I made the second generation yogurt. I eat the se second generation yogurt, but now I do not eat straight generation two second generation yogurt because it's quite liquid. I will drain it, make it into Greek yogurt. So here is the Greek yogurt I made, or to be honest, or to be respectful to the great、uh, people of the Greek, I will say this is a drained yogurt. So yogurt, I put a, a piece of cheese close and let it drain. This has been drained for three hours. It becomes less. Uh, some of the yogurt is a little bit burnt, so you can see the color is not good. But there's nothing wrong with it. So I will use this kind of yogurt as a starter now, because it has more stuff in it, and usually it takes a shorter time to make yogurt for the fermentation to to develop, because there is just much more stuff in it. Right, and、uh, another thing is、um, because it's much more condensed without all this water, without this water, so it develops faster, and the milk and the resulting、uh, resulting yogurt is also more condensed because you are not using this water. I use one heap spoonful of it put into the. Cooled milk. Okay, so let's bring it to a boil, and we wait for it to cool down. This one, I am not using it. I will put it back into refrigerator. So here you can take a look. This one is、um, a spoonful of this drained yogurt with this. So only that drained yogurt. It might be too. See, there is still some water. I will drain it. Only the strained yogurt might be too strong, so I mix it, mix into a medium kind of、uh, density, and then put、uh, my homemade、um, homemade、uh, jam. Oh, this jam is finished, so today I can eat like this. Get a big spoonful of it. This is so good. Bon appetito. The rest. Let me change a new spoon. I remember there was one time I took class. Cordon bleu. Or Alan Dugas, and、uh, his coffee. I forgot which one. And the chef doing demo. She just、uh, kept on throwing these um, uh, spoons because every time she tastes, she will change a new spoon. And who that so good? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your um um. 
shake, 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 shake your mm -hmm. It's boiling. Cool it down into a bowl of cold water. So I got the cold water. I clean up the surface. Let me put a, a piece of paper to go under my. Uh, oh, sorry. To go under my. Uh, bowl so that it protects the new uh, kitchen counter so put it for five minutes or something that will be good this one go back to refrigerator and this one go into my stomach shake 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 we have uh, more than a hundred bottles of, uh, of jam this year is a great, great year. Okay, see you in a while. See you later, alligator. Bye bye, for Okay, hello, dear friends. So I went to uh, attend a meeting, and uh, after the meeting, uh, <laughs> this yogurt is cooled down. Perfect timing. That's about uh, as good as you can get. And I, instead of using the starter yogurt, I use this drained yogurt, which I drain it a little bit. See how much stuff in it. So one heap spoonful, that is good enough. And blend it open. Blend in. You can feel the milk is um, is much richer and whiter. <laughs> I mean, more opaque. Nespa, voila. Okay, to keep myself. Uh, an ample supply of this uh, dried, drained or dried yogurt. These are some yogurt I made. I will um, I will keep on making some more. Because excuse me. Each time I put, uh, oh, this one, I think, oh, look at it. This one just to clean up by itself. Let me see this one, this one. Oh, yes, also clean up by itself. I like it. <laughs> this is usually when uh, two times fermenting. I'm sorry for the noise. This one is not separating. And, uh, since I do so much, so I already know the character of each, each little patch of yogurt. I know how uh, developed they are. Anyway, so this one I will put into refrigerator. And next time I can make yogurt out of it. Now I will do pour it in. Let me clean it up for this. Okay, I have cleaned up, I have blended, everything seems just right. Pour it in. I think this time I'm making a little bit more than I should, so I will need to fill it in quite much to the rim. Let's see. Oh, not that bad, actually. 
almost, almost, alamos. It's a um, a Texas town, alamos, a Mexico town, or Texas, Texas town. It's one of the most important historical place, Alamos, in uh, Texas. Really quite fascinated by Texas history. Okay. Alamos, vamos, vamos a la playa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Vamos a la playa. Ooh, 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 ooh. When we were in Australia, every single day, we played that song. And uh, every time, every weekend, we go to Manly Beach to surf. And we will sing this song. Vamos a la playa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so pour in hot water. Let me boil some hot water. Vamos a la playa. Okay, we wait until the water become hot and then put it in and then we are good to rest. <laughs> 